and welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Bit. My name's Daisy Savage, and today I'm here with the cast and writer of Captain Morgan and the Sons of Time. How are you today? We are collectively very well. <laughs> and would you like to introduce yourselves for the camera? Uh, I'm Ben, I'm the writer and director of the show. I'm Ed, I play the first mate Hammond in the show. I'm Joe, I play Captain Morgan. I'm Dave, and I do live stage music for the show. Sorry about the holes in your ship. What holes? Ready the cat off. Ready the guns, boys, and brace the guns. Ready. Hey. Go. 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 And um, how's your show going so far? Uh, it's been an absolute dream. It's been really good fun. We've been packed out every night, good reviews. It's been good fun. It's been really good. Great. Cool. And who came up with the idea of the show? Uh, I, it was me. I did that. Um, <laughs> for, my, <laughs> for, my, uh, for my final year project during university, I did a drama degree and I did a kind of 20 minute version of this uh, with Joe and another actor and a different musician. And that kind of evolved with different people and different. Uh, ideas into this kind of hour long thing that we have now. Look about yourselves. We need something thick, sturdy, possibly made of wood, about the size of a leg. Kalthoom! Your wooden leg! We need your leg to plug the ship. Why would we all there? Why are we going to attack it, bro? No time for that, Kalthoom. One. Here we go. Two. I'm ready. Three. Wait, what about uh, Stop. Okay, and how's the fringe going so far? Have you been to the fringe before? Uh, I have with the show last year and working at venues. Uh, these guys have. Yeah. This is my very first time at the fringe. Yeah, it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, I've been a few times before acting. And Joe and I worked on a show about two years ago together. Got to know each other. So I'm the uh, I'm the new guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, the rookie. Yeah. Cool. So tell us a bit about the show then. Uh, it's hard to describe, but if you can imagine two actors playing 44 characters uh, uh, accompanied by live music with no props, no set uh, and the story being two pirates going on a quest for the secrets of time travel mm -hmm. it's that, mm -hmm. it's that kind of thing okay. and is it difficult to make it obvious who, you, who you're playing at one time, if there's 45 characters is it, and there's only so many of you, how do you make it so that the audience knows who, who's who well, this is hopefully, weird. hopefully not. I mean, in rehearsals, we spent quite a lot of time working out distinctive ways of doing each character. We yeah. tried out a lot of different voices and mm. and different, very, very different postures. And uh, some of the characters are, are very much sort of bent over backwards, and others yeah, yeah. are sort of very upright. And uh, uh, sort of the range of the, the pitch of the voices sort of help help with that as well. I think faces as well. I think faces. Yeah, lots like of these guys can contort their faces. Like you wouldn't be, you wouldn't believe it was the same person because really? the faces are so like uh, different. Um. There's a couple of musical little signature cues as yeah. well, which help people understand. Yeah. So, so do you ha play different music for different characters? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, definitely. There's little cues that let you know that uh, the kind of pompous English uh, naval captain's back uh, every time, and and they kind of stand very upright. And I don't know if it's, it's worth doing a little taster of that. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Come and see the show. Cool. Well, thanks so much for talking to us today. Well, thank you. And, uh, yeah, if you'd like to see the show, it's at quarter past eight. At is. Where, and where is it? At the Fiddler's Elbow on Picardy Place. Cool. Thank you. Good work, lad! There's a man overboard! Oh, Roddy Rod, I can't swim! Come on, you landlubber! Hey! Captain, we're too evenly mad! It would appear so! We have to break our secret weapon! That's the steel cannonball! Aye, Captain! I want to explode in something fierce! Burn it, Captain! The steel cannonball! Load it up! Let it never be said that Captain Morgan doesn't have balls of steel!